Hey guys and welcome to a new video of Bitcoin Edge. Today we'll take another look into the charts and uh, good news, fundings are starting to become negative. We have big discounts for Bitcoin and that is the first message. Uh, usually, you know, you get paid too long. So yeah, that is a very good thing. In bear markets, it is possible. But recently, recent months, you know, we've seen negative fundings. That's free money. That's when you're long. Uh, we will take a look in charts. Uh, by the way, buy a bit in the low over here. Uh, there's a link in the video description. You get discounts as well trading with Bybit on my referral link. Um, I'm getting paid. That's correct. Uh, but if you don't do you use market orders, um, I don't get paid. And that's what you should do. Save on those market orders. Please do not use them. You make me rich and you make Bybit rich and it costs you money, you know. So that is the worst. Dixie, nice and weak. Just how we like it. Gold, strong. Um, and as in P500 looking very good as well. Uh, also, the Nasdaq is looking good. Um, take a look at the Dixie. Like I said, nice and weak. They're right at this support over here. Broke this trend line now. Did a bearish retest on this resistance. And you know, if they break this one over here, we are sitting right on it now. Over here, you know, we will make yearly lows. And that's exactly what we want. Um, we want to go below this one. And uh, you've probably seen it, inflation is, uh, yeah, is at work. Um, but I mean, that's exactly what we want. That is super bullish for Bitcoin and crypto. Um, so yeah, we had some thought uh, as well in Bitcoin. You know, Elon Musk going at it. Um, we do not like Elon Musk anymore. Um, he, uh, I don't know what to say. It's uh, on YouTube. I want to keep my channel. Um, I mean, three dumb, dumb things happened the last hour. Reuters writing about a misleading article on China banning uh, crypto again, you know. I mean, it was already, they were already doing that for years, you know. Um, so nothing really uh, about that, you know, like nothing worrying, basically fake news. Um, what do we see over here? We keep going below here, you know, and we want to get as soon as possible back uh, above this line basically that is it that is all that matters I, we can delete everything right now what we want to see is higher lows keep those bears sweating do not give them what they want and we want to get back above um, 45k that is that is basically it that's all that matters right now um, getting back above 45k if you go back above 45k we have so much liquidity and especially with those negative fundings uh, you can see it over here big discounts this is the bitmax um, funding and premium index of neobutane i use this one a lot uh, very important and you can also see them over here the funding costs very very good we want them negative I always look at uh, bitmax and bybit also because um, their funding period is every eight hours and um, they change four hours from them that's why i also like the four hour candles uh, the most they include funding periods um anyway this is on a lower time frame this is exactly what we see low uh, low low uh, almost equal you know and this one is a bit higher and um, we do not want to let those beers out we want to go back above here and on a lower time frame you know we're on the five minute right now we see a little bit of a double bottom over here and right now we are getting above this once and we just want to see higher lows and higher highs we want to get back above this one get back above this one get back above this one and then next up is i would say these lines over there um that is basically the plan and that is what i'm targeting i'm targeting upside still um so so much fud uh, Everybody tries to short it lower and uh, if everybody tries to do it, you know, they won't get it. Same for Ethereum. Ethereum is looking a little bit better over here and you can see it, you know, with your bare eyes. This is the level we want to break. Basically, uh, 3600 is what we want to break. Um, these tops over here, uh, the lows over here, some low over here. And, you know, the high over here is like, this is what we want to break, 3600 lower time frame look let's go to the 15 minute and we can clearly see it equal highs as well uh, and lower highs a bit more um, obvious on ethereum over here looking very good if we get back above uh, 3600 you know we will moon again 
Do we have trend lines? Let me take a look if we have trend lines. I think we do. Uh, and that's basically this one. A little bit of a fake out over here, but we want to break this one. Trend lines is what I love. And do we have trend lines here as well? Probably. Let's take a look. Let's go to the hourly. Man, Elon, you know, Elon started tweeting over here. The little, I don't know. You fill that one in. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to let Elon kick me out of YouTube. I mean, this is the trend line. We want to break, you know, but more obvious, you know, we want to see higher highs and higher lows. Uh, Ethereum BDC. Ethereum BDC is looking magnificent over here. Um, we can see very clearly. Let's delete everything. Uh, we can see it very clearly over here. We had these highs, you know, this basically this level, this low over here, and we're breaking back above it. Very clear higher lows. And do we have a trend line? Yes, we do. Very simple technical analysis. I mean, a lot of people are discussing about technical an analysis. Does it work? Is it working? You know, um, for me, technical analysis is not everything. You want to see technical analysis plus um, funding and liquidity. That is what I want to see. I want to see everybody short the bottom and then I want to see a trend line break or a higher high being made so that we know everybody is effed when we go back up. Um, and that is how you get the best moves. Uh, short squeezes, long squeezes, that's how it happens. Um, and I use them together with simple technical analysis, just naked technical analysis. I don't, don't use really indicators, like none at all. Um, what I do use, you know, funding and premiums, that is what tells the story for me. Um, that is how I call bottoms. Anyway, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum Bitcoin, uh, sorry, yeah, Ethereum Bitcoin does look very great over here. Very good, nice round bottom and uh, making higher highs, higher lows over here was basically a retest. And it's, um, yeah, Ethereum looks very good. CRV looking very good here as well. Um, you know, holding up perfectly fine, consolidating and about to break up. Rook, Rook is looking weak over here, but you know, still round bottom intact. Um, but I mean, yeah, it, it, it had a lot of pain uh, compared to Bitcoin. Um, I mean, if you want a long and cheap coin, a Rook could be a good one. SRM holding up perfectly, um, you know, just going sideways, broke out of this trend line and just, um, yeah, sideways consolidation, I would say continuation. So much strength in this. And when Bitcoin bounces, you know, SRM is picking it up. Um, XRP, mega strong. If they break this trend line over here, XRP is going to moon. Uh, they already touched 170 uh, over here. Uh, but I mean, XRP looking very good. We can take 50 minute look. Yeah, just a retest over here and going back up consolidation maybe. But uh, yeah, we just want to see higher lows, which we are making uh, and higher highs, which we are making as well. Right now, this one was dumped pretty hard. So uh, I would see, I don't know, I'll, I'll see this recovering slowly, uh, not as fast as this one, but recover slowly and go up. Um, Solana, all time highs, being a complete chat, especially the f last four hours, you know, they dumped it away a little bit, but let's take a look. Looking very good, just a retest over here. And altcoins always uh, react a little bit different, but higher lows is what tells the story and higher highs. So that is looking very good as well. Doge, you know, I hope Doge is going to zero. Uh, I'm completely done with Elon, you know, and Elon is trying to pump it. Basically, because he cannot be the hero of Bitcoin. Um, so yeah, big hater of Dogecoin. Um, do we have anything else? Fundings, I already talked about it. Bitcoin looking good, making higher lows. Uh, the Dixie looking nice and weak. Let's take a look at the S&P 500 really, really, really quick. This is the daily. I mean, this is basically what we're in, right? Uh, Pre-corona dump, big dump, going up, going up, going up. Um, I mean, a bit of a doji today, you know. I mean, they're still very high. Looking good, you know, higher lows all the time. Uh, equal or higher highs, however you want to see it, but still higher lows. So that's very good. Could be an uh, ascending triangle. So that is all perfect. Um, make sure to follow me as well on Twitter, uh, follow me, subscribe to me and put your notification bells on on YouTube. Um, daily video, if you want to join an exchange, you know, look in the video description. Join one on my links. You help me and you help yourself. 
And that is about it for today, guys. Happy trading. Let me know in the comments what you are trading and how everything is going. I'll see you guys again tomorrow.